my good friend Swathi Garantla. Swathi is a freshman at the Ashland High School. As oh, she is an American born Indian who likes to showcase her culture and religion through Kuchipudi, an Indian classical dance form. As for a sport, she plays volleyball. Her other hobbies include swimming, acting, and singing. She, Swathi also likes to read and do projects. Please welcome my good friend Swathi. My name is Sathi Garadla, and I am a freshman at the Ashland High School. Today, I am going to be talking about a topic that many people are aware of, but don't take seriously, bullying. But before I go on with my presentation, I'd like to make sure that everyone can hear me. Okay, today I will be breaking my speech into three parts. One, what bullying is and the types of bullying. Two, how bullying affects people. And three, how bullying can be prevented. First is what bullying is. Now, when I was younger, I used to think that anyone who said I had to finish all the peas in my plate was a bully, because I claimed that I was allergic, but I really wasn't. <laughs> but as I got older and I did more research on this topic, I learned what the real definition is unwanted aggressive behavior towards an individual that cannot help the situation. This type of action has the potential to be repeated or is repeated. This is stopbullying.org's definition for bullying. There are three different types of bullying. The first is verbal bullying. Verbal bullying is something that can hurt an individual through words that are said or written down. This type of bullying includes taunting, teasing, calling someone inappropriate names, or saying inappropriate things. This type of bullying isn't as easily recognized as the other types of bullying. The second type of bullying is social bullying. This type of bullying can ruin someone's reputation or relationships with another person. This bullying includes saying that someone can't be friends with the victim, or not letting them join in with the other groups. It also includes embarrassing them in public. This type of bullying is very misinterpreted and can be seen as popularity, but in reality, it's a serious issue and it is bullying. The third type of bullying is physical bullying. This kind of bullying is something that can hurt the victim physically. This can be the obvious punching or kicking, but can also be subtle like poking or chirping. This type of bullying doesn't happen very often, but it is still very, uh, is, has a lot of appearance in the society. There is another type of bullying which could be seen as social bullying or verbal bullying, and this is cyberbullying. The reason I don't include the, this in the other types of bullying is because with the growing increase of technology and the power it brings people, it, can, it is a big effect on society. Cyberbullying can happen on the internet and is messaging or posting inappropriate or things that can hurt other, the victim, such as threatening them. This is, can also include setting up fake profile accounts or posting things that could harm the bully the person being bullied. All these types of bullying can have an effect on all the people in the bullying scene. Which leads me to my second point. Everyone included in a bullying scene can be affected in drastic ways. First is the person being bullied. This person could experience things such as anxiety or depression. They lose an interest in things that they were once took very seriously. <coughs> They also experience changes in their eating or sleeping behaviors. All these can lead into adulthood, and realizing that you have affected someone's life for the worse can also affect the bully. 
The bully can be affected with major health issues or do things that can influence their health for the worse. And if they don't realize what they did is wrong, things that they have done as a bully can pursue into adulthood, such as committing crimes or getting into fights. They could also abuse their children or their spouses. Even a bystander in a bullying scene can be affected. They can be affected through health problems, or they could skip or miss school if they think that the bully could target them next, or if they think that they didn't do anything for the victim. Bullying can cause serious things such as harming anyone, such as the bully, the person being bullied, or any bystander that wasn't involved. Such drastic issues aren't directly linked with bullying. But knowing that there's no one at home to support them could lead to such drastic issues. Knowing all these effects must make you think there has to be something to do to stop this from happening. And there is, which leads me to my third point, how we can stop bullying. The biggest way to stop bullying is to make sure it doesn't happen. And to do this is to report it when it does happen. The reason many people don't do this is because they think that it will make it worse. But this is one of the biggest myths. In most cases, when reporting the bully, it completely stops. And if you see that someone's being bullied, or you yourself are noticed that you are being bullied, then it's important to confide in a teacher, an adult, a sibling, a friend, or even an officer. Also, if you find yourself being bullied, it is important to show that the bully doesn't have power over you. Because showing that you, they have power over you is one of the main reasons bullies bully. They like the power. Another reason they bully is that they themselves were once bullied before, such as by a classmate or even in their family. So if you stop one bully from bullying someone, it could stop the snowball effect, leading in a whole generation of bullying. Another way is for the parents. It is important to make sure that you know what's going on in your kids' lives. If you notice that their eating or sleeping behaviors have changed, then it's important to ask them about it. It is also important even if you don't notice the change. They may not be comfortable with talking to you, but it's important to show that you care. Because if someone's being bullied, one of the most common things that they think is that no one cares. I would like to conclude, and I hope you know, have learned something about what bullying is and the different types of bullying, how it affects people, and how we can stop it. It is our job as a protector of a humanity to make sure things like this doesn't happen in our community. I hope you all take action to make sure bullying doesn't happen. And hopefully in future generations, it's eliminated completely. I hope you all enjoyed my speech and thank you for listening.